What's up, YouTube? Uh, back again. A little bit before Christmas, but I figured I'd throw on the give me presents. Uh, I don't know. Some people won't be getting presents this year. Sad story. But uh, synthetic marijuana. Some say it's pretty bad. You know, according to some medical procedures done on the autopsy of the kids that have died, one of a heart attack, one of um, lung lung burns or chemical burns to lungs he had to get a transplant then died anyways a 13 year old kid i heard stories people get paranoid out you know it's just like another kind of salvia epidemic where people were kind of flipping out about that and somebody thought that they can fly they just couldn't get that high because they're he couldn't handle it you know they just do too much stupid shit but the one kid that got a chemical burn and throat, he smoked it out of like a Pez dispenser or something. So I don't necessarily think it was a synthetic weed. That probably helped with him not being able to heal up. Maybe it did something to his immune system. But the kid in Texas, I don't know, I believe he was smoking K2 and then ended up having a heart attack. I don't know if it was right away or a couple days. You know, actually, I know some people that uh, smoke that stuff pretty often. One kid, he's on probation. He's probably like... 21, 22, so he's not really a kid, but pretty much at heart, I guess he is, but, uh, yeah, and he smokes, told me, like, three to four bags a day of certain stuff, but I heard over here in Michigan, we got, like, a little different kind of system where we banned some of them, and then we let some of them stay, and, like, they came up with some stuff, it's called 616, but even if you look on eBay, this stuff is everywhere, and they call it, like, potpourri. But so far, what the doctor said when they had the JWH chemicals, 002, I believe, he was saying himself, he said, if you smoke, he's like, then you're stupid because it's underdeveloped and it was made part of a, to control the cannabinoids in our brain to make us feel like we're high off of cannabis almost. But this stuff that they're making, while marijuana is illegal, is like 10 times more strong than weed. So I just kind of don't get it. And it brings me another thing. They got uh, stuff called bath salts. And uh, I don't know if I can find the video, but I'll post it in the description if I can. But uh, ladies tripping out on this, they call it bath salts. But it's actually like a, like a synthetic cocaine. And it's supposed to get you gone for like five hours. She was like wobbling, weaving back and forth. They had her face blurred out. And I'm like, wow, and this shit's legal? You know, some people, they were actually saying that drug addicts, like hardcore drug addicts that go for, like, meth, and they go for methadone, they go for crack, and all that shit. They, they said that they are switching to that because it was way better than those. So, like, imagine something that's supposed to be a little more powerful than heroin, but it's legal. And people are, you know, fucking having heart attacks off of that, too. It's been out loud in a lot of states, like Florida, I believe. But here in Michigan, it's still legal. I see it. And, like, one time there was, you could tell, like, an um, ex-crackhead or somebody on probation when she's like, I need that fake Coke, you know, and she's at the store. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know, so it really ain't better than nothing. But, yeah, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this. I believe it's anagram. Santa's supposed to be an anagram of Satan, so if he's always in red, well, that little motherfucker stopped by and dropped me off an early gift. For some reason, I had to go pick it up, so I guess he didn't drop it off. But, uh, yeah, sorry to those kids. Shouldn't have smoked out of the Pez dispenser. Shouldn't have smoked K2 at all. All this stuff right now, just tell you beforehand, has serious risks that they're not telling you about what's in it. A lot of people, like, I talked to the store lady today because they have it sitting up. And then she said she doesn't know nothing about it. She doesn't mess with it. You know, one of those is try to change the subject. And I told her about people that had been dying. Then she just kind of seemed like, oh, really? And, you know, I'm like, well, hopefully it's a different chemical. But most likely it's just in a different form. But so far, the people I know that have done it, they've just been fine. But they were only used to smoking weed and drinking. And I hear when you drink and you smoke that shit, you really flip out a little bit. But you just got to be able to control yourself. You got to have a good tolerance. But uh, rest in peace, 13 and I believe 16-year-old. Guys, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace and uh, cheers to everything else and making marijuana legal because if they got this shit out, there ain't no fucking reason why marijuana can't be legal. Cheers.
Hope you liked the video, the info I gave you. Subscribe if you want to. If not, whatever. Just give a like or a dislike. At least I know somebody's watching. All right, take it easy.